Are you realizing that static slides are kind of boring and you wonder how you can make your PowerPoints more interesting? Well, I'm about to show you how you can reuse all your hard work in PowerPoints and turn those slides into engaging animation video. I've taught hundreds of educators how to make animated videos the real way, but this method is a lighter and faster way to start animating. The crazy part is this takes so little time and still I don't see anyone doing it. This is Ben. When the whole world locked down, he saw how teaching online was the new black, and he experienced firsthand how difficult it is to create content that matched his classroom training. Now that the world has opened up again, more or less, and everyone is now used to learning online, Ben is worried that he'll fall behind. If you're an educator of any kind, you probably worry too. How do you convert your materials into media? Ben's favorite client he's been working with for years all of a sudden demanded that he mixed in more engaging video content when he trained them. And this client is not one Ben can afford to lose. <laughs> well, if the world wants video, that's what they'll get. Ben said before he picked up the phone and called me. Hi Ben, two seconds. Yes, I have animated friends of weird things happening in 2022. <laughs> This is not even close to topping that list. Ben was desperate, <laughs> even cried a little, but I told him I had a plan. Ben, you already have lots of solid presentations on your computer, right? Why don't we turn some of those PowerPoints into videos, cool animation videos? Is that even possible? Animating in PowerPoint takes forever, right? If I can turn a slideshow into an interesting animation video in less than one hour, you owe me a Ben & Jerry's deal. Deal. Luckily, I was already ahead of the game because I knew there was a better way than animating inside PowerPoint. PowerPoint is not an animation tool, so I certainly wasn't going to use PowerPoint to win my ice cream. Also, I don't have access to PowerPoint or ever use it, so that's also a factor. My plan is to use a Google Slides presentation, export it in PPTX format, and then upload it to a tool that's made for animations. More and more tools can handle slides, but my favorite tool is Beyond, so I'll use that to show you how you can convert a bunch of sad slides into a fun standalone video. What's any beginner's biggest fear when it comes to creating content? The white canvas, the blank page, having no idea where to start, right? Ben is extremely susceptible to hypnosis and shuts down completely when that cursor on a blank page keeps blinking at him. Luckily, you can forget about starting from scratch with the three step process I'm about to show you. Throw your PowerPoint file into the tool. It will do its best to convert all of the PowerPoint assets into Beyond assets. Ooh. Me and Ben made a deal about some ice cream if I could make a video from these slides in less than one hour. So let's start the clock. Now, because I've taken my own Beyond course, I'm 100% on top of the features in here. So it didn't take long to clean these imported slides up. Some texts needed their font back. Some assets didn't match Beyond's libraries. I replaced those. And now that the goal is to make these static slides more dynamic and interesting to watch, I added animated effects to how things enter each slide. Now that we already have most of the visual side down, we move on and add sound. Figure out what you normally say when you present and write it down. Then read that script while you record your voice in Beyond. The simple way is to record voiceover for one scene, then move on to the next. Each line might require a few takes to get just right. Peter Piper picked a pick of pickle. <laughs> My best tips are to use simple formulations, short sentences, and record in a quiet room with a good microphone. Luckily, Ben works as a consultant and he's a natural born presenter. I am sure he'll be able to deliver energetic and engaging voiceovers. His scripts need a bit of simplification though. And if Ben catches a cold, he can just insert his written text into the text to speech tool and generate the voiceover if his own voice is game over. Yes, if my own voice is game over. Now I'm done with that part. I've recorded what I want to say to each slide and aligned the duration of each scene to how long I talk. This video is so cool already, right? No, not really, you might think. And you'd be right. You can't do most of what we've done until now in PowerPoint alone. And that's why we'll spice this video up with something special. Now that I or Ben won't be there physically to present when someone watches our animated video, 
We need someone else to be the presenter for us. Meet Ruid 2.0. He's going to help me guide the viewer safely through each scene, right? In a couple of clicks, my voiceover is connected to Ruid 2.0, so his lips sync up to my recorded words. So my words become his words. Ruid 2.0 is added to every scene now, and I'll give him different poses and actions that fit with the content. And this leads us back to his name. Why the 2.0? Because he can do whatever you can imagine. He's much better than original me. At everything, really. The video is done. I hit export, wait a few minutes, and here's a small sneak peek of how it turned out. Welcome to Explain Academy's live masterclass with me, Ruit Rees. It's week three, and this means we'll talk about how to animate our videos. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below, and I'll make sure to answer as soon as possible. Thank you. I'll link to the full video in the comments. What were the three keys to upgrading your own PowerPoints from sad slides to awesome animation? Find a tool that lets you import and animate PPTX files, record or generate your voiceover, and take advantage of the animated universe, for example, by adding a host like Ruit 2.0. Do you remember the animated paperclip Clippy from Microsoft Office? Everyone loved that guy, right? And your students are going to love your animated host. A few bonus tips from the hip is to choose one tool to get really good at, Start to experiment with recording real human voiceovers yourself and animate with the ambition to entertain. If you do this, you'll be ahead of 90% of online teachers out there. And after you master the animation format, a whole world of educational content creation opens up. That's the story for another day. So make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. What was that thing about real animation video? How to make animated videos the real way? And how's that different from this quick PowerPoint way? That's a good question and one that I answer in this video where I show you my process for how I create animated explainer videos from scratch.